The main objective of capture the flag is to take your opponent's flag and deliver it back to your flag in order to score. However, if your flag has been taken by the enemy, you'll be unable to capture their flag until you rescue your own first. To return a flag, it first must be dropped by the enemy, then simply walk over a downed flag to return it back to base. The team with the most caps by the end of the time limit will be crowned the winners, but if the teams are tied by the end of the time limit, the game will go into overtime where the team that scores the next capture will win the game. Capture the flag is played in two halves, as not all maps are symmetrical in design, and once the game hits half time, teams will switch sides. If one of the flags is still in play when the time limit has been reached, the game will go into advantage time. This will last until the flag has either been captured, returned, or if both flags are put into play. The Transicator is the go-to weapon in Capture the Flag. Each player is equipped with one and it enables the player to quickly travel across the landscape or get over any difficult terrain in a blink of an eye. To use the Transicator, press mouse 1. This will fire the locator disc that you can teleport to by pressing mouse 2. You can continuously repeat this action, chaining up teleports speeding you throughout the map. This will make you a much more difficult target to hit when roaming the battlefield. If you happen to misfire when shooting the disc, you can reset the locator by pressing mouse 1 again. When carrying the flag, players will still be able to use the translocator, but as soon as you teleport, you will immediately drop the flag on the spot. With a well-placed translocator disc, you can kill your enemies by teleporting inside of them, but telefragging is quite difficult to pull off, so it's best to switch to another gun when entering a combat situation. If your translocator disc is damaged and you attempt to teleport, you'll be transported, but just not in one piece. Since teams have to attack and defend simultaneously in a capture the flag game, it's often wise to set player positions. The most popular setup is the 2-1-2, which is two attackers, one midfield, and two defenders. Defenders' positions can vary depending on the map, but in most cases there'll be at least one player directly in or around the flag area to make sure it doesn't go wandering off, while the other defender will scout any incoming threats and secure items in and around the base. Attackers will need to be quick on their feet, as they will need to think outside the box when escaping the enemy base, but the best attackers are the patient ones that coordinate their attacks with their teammates and the item timings. Midfield players are often considered the third attacker. His job is to coordinate his team's efforts on controlling the power-ups that can be found in the midfield, as well as falling back to defend the flag, but also pushing up with the offense to bring the flag home. If you didn't know already, you can download and try the Unreal Tournament pre-alpha for free at unrealtournament.com and you can also say hi to the Unreal Tournament community on our Discord channel, you can find the link in the description below.